Hello and welcome again to Steve Longstreet Workshop where things come to relate to for various reasons. Um, some are repaired for me, some are repaired for others, and of course, not very many of those, but uh, and also of course, have been looked at elsewhere. Uh, this is a Ferguson. Last Ferguson we had was a bit of a disaster, but so I got, we got there in the end. This is a, 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 another kind of Ferguson. These generally don't give a problem. This one is a Ferguson, like I said, it's um, it's um, I can't see the, I said, can't see the bottle number actually on this. Uh, never mind. Uh, D63U, I think, or something like that. There are two versions of this radio. There's this version, which is one that everybody uh, knows, and the other version, of course, again, everybody knows, is one with the button that goes to front. This is the version which doesn't have the button, so it's um, a bit easier in that respect. Um, in the back, where we, where we are destined to go on this programme with things like this, if I was to uh, take it apart, which I'm going to do now, you see, I'll turn it around so you can see the back, there you are, the standard, uh, back of the standard radio. This is one of those sets which um, lots of people like to work on, uh, but like every radio of this kind, there will be a few pitfalls, and those pitfalls we will go through here in this radio now. And so we'll find out exactly what um, what um, what we have to look for with this. Um, these, I, I think, I'm I'm I'm, I'm going to uh, see. I think I don't actually know for sure without looking inside it. Um, that's... Hmm, okay, fine. A drill bit, very nice. Uh, this is... Um, uh, hang on, let's see what, my, what that model number is. Hang on. Uh, model 382U. Yeah? These were very common. And um, we got we get VHF as well, which is going to become more and more important because I I I found out this week that uh, Radio Four and Radio Five and that lot are going to be leaving us on long ways, so um, we're going to need to uh, find other ways of um, powering, powering up our radios. Um, it's a it's a chassis set. That's uh, that is easier, I suppose. And also with this uh, underneath, there's various other, there's various other um, things to look at. Sets of this era, by the way, such as this one, they are either radio, either AC or AC-DC driven. And we could tell, take a valve out and have a look. If it's got a number on it, which I don't think that, that one has, has it? Okay, not to worry. Uh, Put it back in properly. There we go. And put this one out. Now this looks like it's a U a UY85. If it is, then this set is has a dropper rather than it is a UY85, which means that this set is uh, driven with the main dropper. Now main dropper sets do have some things which need to be, need to be thought of it very carefully with them. Not that carefully, but they're not actually going to uh, kill us on contract, but we need to think a bit, a bit, a bit carefully about them before we power them. Um, you know, it's just, again, the way, the way things are. Um, for one reason or another. That's the uh, antenna for the AM, which goes up there. I'll uh, find out a way of... Uh, of of doing that either on the on the back panel or the um, well some way of doing that anyway that's something which we have to we have to look at which fair enough now also with this shit I notice we might not have to take it out of the cabinet because these sets also have 
with the back off access to underneath. Now underneath on sets of this era, and then it goes like that. Can you see that? There you can. There, that's a, there, there are brand new capacitors called Hunts, Hunts capacitors. These you replace on site. One in particular has to be shift dotted it very, very quickly indeed, or else you could kill the uh, April Pentode. UH4s are generally speaking very, very tolerant valves, but um, I'm not told them, so that's something else which, which we, we, uh, we have to look for. Um, yeah. So it's um, UI85, UI, UI L84, UABC80, uh, that'd be something like a UF85, something like that, uh, UCH81 and the UCC85, because that's the VHF can there, okay? All these valves are wired in series, so if one goes out, they all go out. A bit like old Christmas tree lights do. It's, uh, it's the way they do it. Okay? So with that in mind, let's have a look underneath and see what... Um, see what the lights this beautiful set has to offer us. Like I said, um, there's something being done on the um, on the on the uh, oh that's good. That's this that looks like the uh, across the volume control because that part is uh, said goodbye to us, which is fine to work and do that. Yeah. So what that is there, but uh, we'll, we'll need to uh, check and see it's a bit, bit. Well, obviously leaked out a lot of wax as well, that one. Um, so, uh, yeah, that was, uh, that must be changed, obviously, that plug the, the VHF uh, stabilisation capacitor there. Um, that one is probably the one which will cause problems later on. Or that one and um, there's no others so certainly those certainly those two there will need to come in and be changed okay but uh, me being me i like to, like to put things on and see what happens before we go any further because if certain things aren't actually working then you know immediately we're um a short job like this becomes a long job. We got a few long jobs recently, so there you go. So in it goes like that. Then goes the plug. Yeah. On goes the radio. On goes the radio. And let's see if anything is going to happen here. Anything at all, come on. Talk to us. Alright then done. Okay well I'll Okay, in that case, uh, I get the meter and we'll make a few uh, basic voltage checks. Okay, so uh, yeah. Back on its front again, and we'll see if, if, if there's anything at this uh, at this on-off switch down here. If there is, if there isn't, then we go back to the plug where there might be a problem. But um, that will do. In time, if, if, if the plug in the fuse missing, well, you know, there's a it's missing, that, and there's not really a lot we can do. So um, that goes on there. 600 volts AC on the meter. Back on it goes, like that. And we'll see what happens when I... Nothing. Nothing. And even less. Okay, fine. Well, obviously, uh, 
possibly the switch the fuse has gone in the plug. So um, that's easy one to sort out. If it's that, then we'll try again. Chuck's like it first through them, but I have to plug things in and see what uh, what if anything is happening with them. That was on by the way. Okay, let's, uh, at some point it's had a new plug, so I wonder what sort of um, what sort of uh, fuses in here. And straight away, there isn't one. Okay, not to worry. I'm sure I've got a few somewhere. I, I, I'm sure I've got a few. So um, put one in, and we'll uh, thirteen amp. I know, I know it should be three, but for testing, I, I do like to put a thirteen in because you know I always put put me on on the plug to pull it, pull it if anything happens and um, the smoke that, that, that can generate can actually usually point me in the right direction as regards the fault so which uh, for me it's worth doing you know I, I will change it back to back to a 30 back to a three I promise I promise I will, Governor. Oh well, let's try again. Something the lights on, so does it great when I do that? Does it great when I put it? Does okay. So obviously the the valve chain is uh, is working as well because, like I said, on these sets the valves and the guard lamps are in series, so it's it's important to make sure that. Um, Make sure that's so now we should at some point get some noise. Please? Pretty please with pretty, pretty, pretty please. Aha! I hear noise. away we know that capacitors need to be changed on this this can needs to be substituted and of course also there are other caps as well that need to be changed on this it's a simple job a simple job so far at any rate no job is simple until it's done but you know i mean i would i would i would do it with a drill bit so <laughs> yeah so now of course we know that it's doing something we know that uh, the HT and the LT are both there, and uh, the board missing, which uh, again we can we can sort. So um, yeah, so let's have a look underneath and see what I'm find find out. Um, now with this set, it's it's, it's a UY85 rectifier. Yeah. Now the UY85 rectifier yeah. Go to a valve museum like that and it tells us pin connections okay and also it tells us the maximum reservoir capacity of 100 microfarads 
and I don't think it'll, it'll be that high in this set. Uh, okay, and we'll, we'll check somewhere else just to, just to prove just to prove that. Another one here. What's this one? What's this one saying? Hundred micro frads on the domes. Okay, fine. Now here, this is um, this is Radio Museum, another place where you can go to go to check these things. Again, this is this is the first one, but they're all the same. And that too says 100 microfarads. Well, it won't be that high, but at least we know that we can go that high without having too much of a, of a problem. So. Um, I'll send now there for transfer capacities. I'll leave that can in place just just for um, just for appearance's sake, and we'll uh, I'll find some some caps and we'll change that out. When I was at school, I had a teacher called Mr. Orchard, taught me physics, and um, he's played dead now because he was going getting on a bit then. Um, but look at Looking back on him when I get older, I had a lot of things which turned out, turned out to be true. And one of them is that um, you have to have the book of words. And this is the book of words, the Unis book of words actually, for this radio. If you look at it um, here, you will see that there is the chain, the valves there you see. That's the uh, part that's one of which is missing, but I've, I've got them. I haven't got one, so I'll have to wait. Um, that's 25 of that, yeah. And um, these are the uh, smoothing can capacitors here, here, and here. The, these are the, the weather, weather side of it, yeah. And that's the smoother there. Okay, so that's that bit, bit of how it works. Yeah, and uh, now these are all in the same can. I bet they're all knackered. So, although the fan is, although the can is going to the same place, I'm going to put other capacitors underneath the shaft so it look. That can will still look as though it's doing something, but obviously it's not. So that's something which uh, there are people who believe in taking the can out and uh, putting the caps inside. If you want to, fine. Yeah, I think that life's too short, quite frankly, but yeah. So that's the input pencil there, you see that. And that capacitor there, it goes to the grid there, that is the one that has to be changed under any circumstances. Yes, it's a humps, and yes, it has to be changed. But there, I know there are two humps in this. I'll change them both while I'm there, okay. And also, the cap across the mains, the uh, the one that, um, that just goes bang and switch on, you know the one, that's obviously gone bang in the past, so um, that's going to come out as well. So uh, that's where we're going to go with it. So with the book of words to hand, we know exactly what we're doing. Um, these boots, by the way, if you can get them, they are extremely good. This is the... Um, Molly and Poole did this one. These are the radio and television servicing books. Yeah. Every TV show at time had a full set of these. I've got a full set, bar, bar one. So um, I'm, I'm looking at it from one still, but the, 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 they are around and uh, they, they are very good to have. They're also quite good bedtime meeting too if you're um, a soft of nerd like me. But anyway, that's the... Um, that's a book of words, as he would say. So the smoothers, and well, the can has been changed with three caps underneath, and also the 500 ohm resistor was on, so because that's been changed as well. Now, I've not done the hunt capacitors yet, because I'm very quickly going to show you what happens with them and why we should change them. It's quite simple, really. Just let the thing warm up. It takes a bit of time because I think two or three of the valves are rather. Um, rather past the best, but it'll, it'll come up, just uh, give it a minute, okay? It'll come. 
please. Make sure it come. Here we are. Coming up now, you see, so you see that there? And as that comes up, like that, like so, we shall get now audio, which is uh, rather distorted. Yeah, then. is working. Uh -huh. You see there, there's a voltage on that capacitor on the, on the way out. See that? Yeah. If I was to uh, very quickly uh, put that capacitor out circuit, but it's going to change anyway, like, uh, I don't know, like, uh, like, like that, yeah. Put it in now, and we're missing two points on the circuit. First point of measure is the capacitor that we've pulled, which is that one there. Look at that. That is a good green voltage out of control. Yeah? To be nothing, then. that should be nothing. Yeah? The, 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 the uh, passenger itself, one point book to as you, can, as you can see that the grid of the pencil is at zero, yeah? But look at that, yeah? That voltage on there does two things. First thing it does is it puts the grid of the pencil higher up in the circuit because on the pencil the grid has to be lower than the cathode, yeah? Now there are two ways of doing it. One is the uh, way of getting a vice voltage on that other Ferguson we have. And the other way is to uh, put to resist it in the cathode circuit. And therefore, this should be zero. Yeah, which is what's done here. So now we've changed that capacitor and the other one for good measure. And we'll try it again. And then with those capacitors changed, we never have them after lines close at 4pm on Monday and if we call you I'm much less distorted as you can hear the match action and breaking news on the sun's eyes blogs visit the sun.co.uk so no. so one thing with this actually the, the, the wave change which is missing if anyone's got one then I would be forever grateful I'll, I'll, I'll look on eBay but um, there's not a lot wrong with this with these sets generally speaking there isn't just capacity changing, the only two capacitors in this. Uh, yeah, I know you could do things taking resistance in that, but uh, one resistor did fail actually in this, which I've replaced. Um, basically, with this unit, um, the smoothing caps were faulty. The wedge of our cap, which I've changed and put underneath, under those resistor in between the two wedge of our caps. It got open circuit. That's um, that one there. Yeah, you see that. Yeah, and of course um, the usual capacity, which must be changed in every set. If it's a hunt, change it on site. But usually do it before you power, power the set. I did it here just to show you about the effects they have. Always change that capacitor without fail. Always, always. And here is the set now working. Title in the same division. And uh, I'm relatively happy. There are a few things with it actually that uh, I'm going to leave till I get back because I'm in fact uh, the, the last thing I do before I go off on holiday to or I could not hire a remote to see Katie and uh, well looking forward to it Katie I hope you are so I'll be back in about a month's time. Um, 
So, yeah. But this set... Everything, even though when it is... These sets do, do work very well, and they're quite common as well, so if, if you see one, grab it, because they don't need too much effort to get one going, as I've seen, I, I've, I've, I've sort of joined you here. Uh, obviously clean up a bit as well, which I've, which, which I've done. But um, when I get back, I'm going to put a new dial bow in it, possibly change the rectifier and the uh, pe pencil because they both seem to be a little bit um, below the best. Mind they are like 60 years old, so I'm, I'm 50 for it. I'm not the best now, you know, so pretty little valve. But, um, you know, they're nice set, they really are. City to the country, the, they come out. Also with this, if somebody's got a wear chain switch for it here, I'd be, I'd be forever grateful. Forever grateful, in fact, so. From this. I would agree, if somebody's got, got one, send it to me. Also, the air at the back is held in place by one screw now, and uh, the back itself, so I, I really need to sort of take that as well. And again, there's a bit missing, so where it's, where it's gone, God knows, but it has gone. Um, this is a bit of a bad, badly cheated example, but but but, but, but we've come up fairly well. Uh, it comes in AC, DC, and AC version. The AC version has a a bridge rectifier in it and the transformer. This is the AC, DC version. Now, with the AC versions, of course, um, you'll find more often that it's um, they can find it a little bit easier because, of course, but take one valve out and the rest will still work. With the, with the AC DC version, they won't because they're in series. Um, Something to look out for there. Also, with these, with these capacitors, always a problem. Um, with this one, I think it's a good plug on short circuit and kill the uh, fire window resistor, which I've also changed. Again, fairly common. Um, that's it, really. You know, it's, it's just a, a nice way to put on the sideboard and listen, and listen to. The whole thing is, um, bits of sets in this here only go up to like 101 megahertz rather than 108. So Anything top of the dial, you know, generally speaking, you won't be able to get one, although you can tweak them a little bit. Um, also with these, uh, on the VXF side, ECC 85s are getting a little bit expensive. Um, back in the day, J Wells used to say, try several until one works. But um, the, the, the VXF boxes are starting to fail now, so again, in multi capacitors and, and they're fairly easy to deal with. Uh, one of the, uh, I'll show you actually, but, but where's the circuit? Here we are. Right, hang on, I'll, uh, I'll get a circuit for you. Here we are, that's the circuit of that radio. So um, basically, as I've said, the valves are here, the, the smoothing caps are here, that rest of it, but over this side, the valve that uh, has a problem is the UC385. Now what the ECC does, the, the two stages here, the uh, the box puts out a signal on 10.7 megahertz, yeah, and so the uh, so the IFs on this are what are what's called um, dual, which is of course uh, one, one set of coils for uh, AM and one set for FM here. Uh, I've not my lines, I don't think we need to, quite frankly. It does come on slowly, but it does come to speed, like I said. It's capacitors, I think, and also, maybe not capacitors anymore, but certainly, I think one or more of the valves is uh, a little bit past its best. It's had a bit of room. But um, the first, well, first C here of the CC85, uh, the first one is an audio amplifier. And the second one is the oscillator, and they're both controlled by the, the, the control on the front here. On, on a number of foreign sets, it's not, but in the big sets, they are ganged together. Okay, so that's something else. Also, with them, sometimes um, the power to it only comes on 
when the, the, the VHF is switched on the wave change control, that's what they are to locate for. But uh, they are what they are, these, you know, and it's uh, they're nice enough set. So, um, what more can I say apart from I'll see you in a, a month's time and um, have a good time until then, and uh, don't do anything I wouldn't do. Bye bye.